to another topic and that is speech context. But what is speech context first, Sir John Rock? Okay, when we say speech context from the word itself, context meaning situations. Meaning to say communication varies depending on the situation. Correct. Okay, diba? we're talking about context here. What's the context of what you are saying? Okay, we mean what's the basis of what you are saying? Okay, what do you mean by that? That is speech context. Now we got two main, okay, we have two main kinds or types of speech context. We got intrapersonal communication and interpersonal communication. Let's start with intrapers, okay, intrapersonal communication. Sir Janna. All right, so when we say intrapersonal communication from the word itself, intra meaning within. So meaning to say intracommunication, you're talking to yourself, right? Um, meaning to say ito yung mga panahon na, uh, panahon talaga. The example nito is um, when you are talking to yourself like um, you're having a dilemma, for example. Mm -hmm. Kunyari, may manliligaw ka, tatlo. <laughs> tatlo, hindi mo alam kung sino sasagutin mo sa kanila. So, kinakausap mo sa... Si, ano, si, si Marco. <laughs> si Marco. Pogi. Si, ano, si, si Dodoy. Matalino. <laughs> si John. Um, mabait. Sino kaya sa kanila? Okay. But in the end, okay, you chose to be single. Wala ka pa lang, <laughs> Wala ka pa lang. Wala pa talaga nang liligaw sa iyo pa nagigigil. So you're talking to yourself, right? So mm -hmm. yun yung an another thing is when you are making the session. Right? So nako mm -hmm. sa kitim mo or kapag minsan bored ka lang, <laughs> right? Di ba kapag minsan naliligo ka? Minsan, natry mo na ba yung mga sampak? Naligo ka, may pumasok na eksena sa 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 isip mo. <laughs> Di ba? May mga arguments. Ganun. Mm -hmm, correct. Like, ano kaya sa sabon yung gagamitin ko ngayon? Yung safeguard ba? O yung ano? Uh, yung kojik? <laughs> okay, so that is intrapersonal. Within the self. Okay, meaning sa loob ng iyong utak, sa loob ng iyong sarili. So, meaning, sabi nga ni Ed Sheeran, it's like thinking out loud, okay? Thinking out loud. Nag-iisip ka, pero you're actually saying it, okay, through your, through words, okay? So, it is often associated to soliloquy of drama. When we say soliloquy, you're actually talking to yourself, okay? So, Wala kang kasama. Mm -hmm, true. So, mas okay minsan kasi kausap yung sarili mo, madaling intindihin. <laughs> Kayo lang nagkakaintindihan. Okay? And then also, we use intrapersonal communication when we actually want to clarify ideas or analyze situation, okay, by ourselves. Yung ayaw mo na humingi ng, uh, what you call this, na pwede na mga... Opinion. Mm -mm. Pwede namang humingi ka na ng opinion. It's just that, magkakaiba sila ng opinion. So, you're just gonna weigh ano yung susundin mo. Ganun yun. Okay? So, moving on. We got different levels in intrapersonal communication. Let's start with number one. So, we have the internal discourse. So, it involves thinking, concentration, and analysis. And daydreaming is under this level. So, ito nga yung like what I've said a while ago, you are thinking, you're internalizing, right? Um, you're trying to concentrate and um, think um, critically of like, ano yung gagawin mo, right? Okay. Like, yung sinabi mo kanina, um, kanyari, you will have a presentation tomorrow. What strategy will I, I know, mm -hmm. will I, like, I will use something like that, right? So, napapaisip ka in, in a way na kinakausap mo na yung sarili mo. Sure. Iba nga, uh, what you call this one, when we are still, okay, not under quarantine, we get to commute through Japanese. So, habang mukhangin, mm -hmm. gumaganyan-ganyan, you're daydreaming. Oh, Joe, ako na. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay? You're actually daydreaming. So, it's like an internal discourse. Paano kaya? Ano kaya yung gagawin namin pag ano 
So, kaya kami mag date And so on and so on. <laughs> so, parang kinakausok mo yung iyong sarili. Face it. Okay? So, moving on. We got solo vocal communication. So, this time, you're not just going to think, okay? Or th- uh, what they call this one, talk to yourself internally. Now, you're going to produce it vocally. Okay? But still, you're on solo mode. Ikaw pa rin mag-isa, pero okay. sinasabi mo na. Okay? Yung gusto mong sabihin sa iyong sarili. Sir John. Um, ito yung kunyari, um, yun nga, yung example is uh, like rehearsals, calming down oneself, or intent training oneself. See, for example, um, meron kang like presentation tomorrow, like what I have um, given a while ago. Tapos nagpa-practice ka. Right? So that's one thing. So parang kina- in a way, kinakausapan din sa sarili mo. And another is, say, for example, galit na galit ka na. Dahil, kunyari, nawala yung, nawala yung mahaligang bagay sa iyo. So, sipin mo na, kalma lang, chala, kalma, kalma lang. lang self. <laughs> kalma, kalma lang, self. Kalma lang, teh. Right? Kaya yan. Or, um, entertaining yourself. Di ba, pagising mo ng umaga, usually yung activity, pag tumitingin ka sa alam, ganda. O, oh, ginit. <laughs> Pwede. <laughs> Pwede ganon. Right? So, that is you, you entertain your yeah. That's solo vocal, okay? You actually talk to yourself vocally, okay? You say something out loud, okay? Moving on. So, Luck. So, we have the solo written communication. This is all about writing one's thought or observations without an intention of letting other person read what was written. So, the best example of this is writing diaries and journals, right? So, hindi naka, um, pansarili mo lang yun. Ikaw lang nakakaalam, ikaw lang nakakabasa. So, that's one way of um, communicating with yourself, right? True. Okay. Kunyari, is... yung mga bagay na hindi mo masabi sa iba, right? You try mm-hmm. to write it or you try to jot it down. True. That is actually your outlet, Okay to what they call this one release your emotions even uh especially when it feels so heavy already inside okay when you're Actually, not what so i do heavy. when i uh, know i usually do really like say for example writing a poem sa notebook sure. lang na Uh-oh. ako lang nagbabasa because i'm i'm i might be i might be shy <laughs> <laughs> yun yung avenue mo. Oo, para naman hindi ka ma-depress, ma-contain lahat ng emosyon sa iyong loob. Exactly. Okay, moving on. Now we move on to the interpersonal communication. If intrapersonal communication has something to do with talk- talking to oneself, communicating to oneself, when we say interpersonal communication, it is... Surgeon Locke. Alright, it involves two or more people. Mm-hmm. Uh, meaning to say, um, dalawa o higit pa. Kahit hanggang 12 na tao yan. But hindi kailangan maraming marami. Yung kaya pang bilang. Right. Next is, it should be, um, it is continuous. Right? In a way that um, it is a two-way communication. Mm-hmm. When you give um, so, uh, what you call it? when you say something, you receive something. Right? Kapag nagtanong ka, may makukuha kang sagot. So, that's, uh, that is the meaning of it is continuous or two-way communication. Next one, uh, it need not uh, be, not be face-to-face. So, example, kami, tingnan mo. Okay? We, we actually Kaya communicate continuously, siya. but we're not actually communicating face-to-face, okay? We use technology right. to do that. Exactly. So, meaning to say, um, pwede siyang indirect. True. Right. Okay. Next one, it is transactional. Same thing with um, yung sinabi ko kanina na it is two-way, right? So, when uh, when you give you receive, right? So, ng information or ng ma- uh, ma- uh, may sinabi ka, may, may matatanggap kang sagot. Next one, it is irreversible. 
Meaning. So when we say irreversible, meaning if you are the sender of the message, you will be the sender. Yes, then if the person who received your message will give another information about what you have said, then that will be called feedback. You're not going to call that message anymore because you are the first person who initiated the communication process. Kaya hindi dapat siya pwedeng magbalik. Okay? Moving on. Next, it involves nonverbal and verbal cues. So, see, as you can see, uh, we're using our hand gestures, our body language, our facial expression. See, for example, when we are happy, of course, we smile, right? When, <laughs> or we laugh, right? Or when uh, we are angry or mad, say, for example, uh, or like, in, like, so. like in class, guys, ano ba? Guys, ito naman guys eh. Diba? Yung, pero yung... Yeah, yung president nyo. True. Right. So, it helps. Right. It helps kung ano yung gusto mong iparating. Right. Next is, it is affected by noise. Say, for example, narinig nyo kanina yung ingay. Um, Pagkakay, may tumahol na aso. Yung aso namin. Yan yeah, na nga. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, hindi siya... Medyo, kunyari, hindi maririnig ng maayos na masampak yung aking sinasabi. Or it could be, say, for example, may sira doon sa aking device na ginagamit. Pwede ganon. Mm -hmm. Yung noise, hindi kasi siya ingay lang. True. Right? We have discussed in our previous video. Or say, for example, nabingi ako, hindi ko narinig. Sure. <laughs> right? May gutom siya. Oh, that's one thing. Oh, pwede nyo. Pre-occupied ako. Like, hindi ko, ah, pwede nyo, ko na bakit wala pala akong jaw. Floating in the air. <laughs> Lumulutang. So, Pre-occupied. Right? So, yes. uh, pwede so, making uh, ka-affect yun sa communication. Next, it, yes, Ms. Hampak? It involves feedback. Sabi nga kanina, you have to, okay, give uh, what they call this one, if you give, you get to receive something. Meaning, you will get feedback with what you say. Okay? Kasi nga, sinabi mo, yung ganda mo, we thank you. Oh, that is the feedback. <laughs> okay? So, even though that someone did not really, okay, do something, uh, what they call this one, say something, dun pa lang sa facial expression niya, that will be feedback still. Okay? It's still a message. Moving on. Okay, so... Pero pag sinabi mong, ang ganda mo, hindi yun gusto ko marinig. Na uh -huh. ganda, dapat ang ganda mo rin. <laughs> True. Okay, let's have a recap of what is interpersonal communication. Okay, so it takes place between two or among more people. Okay, at least 12. Diba, right? Okay, moving <laughs> on. Let's have the different levels of interpersonal communication. Number one. We have the personal when that uh, when the two people communicating know each other. So communicators are independent, interdependent on one another. Example of this is when you are talking to your uh, with your family and friends. So you know each other very well. So it na yung gumagamit kayo na, uh, Therefore, the flow term, of communication or, is very smooth. Right. Say for example, we're best. I uh, were friends. We met some back close to close, but <laughs> very close, right? Um. So uh, the way we talk, right? So mm -hmm. it's like um. Ano ba? Tuloy tuloy. Sure. Actually, kung hindi namin ititigil, hindi talaga titigil. <laughs> <laughs> namin chika, magchis mo sa kasi. Right. Because we uh, we know uh each other that much. Yes, correct. Right. Okay, we got so much to talk about. That is about. personal communication. Moving on, we got impersonal. If personal is something you, uh, you communicate with uh, something, uh, someone who is very close to you, then we got impersonal when you do not really know who you are talking to. Okay, it's a stranger. So can also be acquaintances. Yung you know, but you're not to uh, close. close with them. Uh, like, um, katabi mo lang sa isang subject, 
di ba? Pag college, ano pa ba? Um, kapitbahay nyo, guard. lumalabas. True? Guard sa school. Guard sa school, yeah, correct. Ano pa ba? Mm, uh, yung tindera. Oo, oh, oh, for example, tindera. Yung barista dun sa copy project. Copy coffee shop. shop. Oh, oh. True. So yeah, that's impersonal. When you actually communicate to them, uh, regardless if you uh, do not know them. Okay? So moving on. Next is formal. So it's communication calls for a more formal way of talking. An um, example of this, uh, uh, employee talking to an employer. Next, politicians, um, hearings, classrooms, meetings. So, if for example nga is kapag may, uh, when discussing, right, in, or uh, having a lecture, right, it should be formal, like, um, this, like discuss kayo about a certain literary piece, kunyari. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, Wala, hindi naman kayo doon mag... Yung kanyari, tinanong ka ng teacher mo. Ano yung, oh, say for example, ang literary piece na ba sa inyo is about dreams or goals. Tinanong ka, anong goals mo? Yung mo pwede sabutin yung teacher mo ng kung ano-ano lang na ka, ka, kabalastogan or kung ano man. Because it's a formal lecture. It should still be formal. Although there mm-hmm. are uh, jokes being thrown. Right. Eh? Next so, is yung... I sorry. Uh, I sorry. <laughs> uh, example is meeting, right? Or ano lang yung pag-usap niyo lang ng family mo during during dinner or lunch. That could be a uh, uh, what you call this? What you call this? a formal uh, conversation? O na kung yari tatay mo kina musa? O na kano yari sa school niyo? You know, mama mo at ano ka? O kailan nga yung ganito niyo? O yung meeting natin or ng Kuha ng card. So, yeah. ganun. Simple conversation na um, formal yung pinag-uusap. Okay. Moving on. We got informal. Of course, the opposite of formal is informal. When you actually use already the slangs or the salitang baybal or salitang kali in, uh, in Filipino. Okay? So, it is more intimate and more comfortable or comfortable conversation. Okay? Meaning, Mas okay ka na eh. Mas ramdam mo na vibes kayo nung kausap mo. So, mas komportable ka nang makipag-usap. Pwede mo na sabihin sa kanya yung mga trip mong sabihin. Diba? Nag-text ka sa messenger sa jowa mo. Diba? Pero hindi naman siya ma-open. Babe, kumain ka na. Oo. Oh, kumain ka na kasi ako hindi pa. Hindi ka na may... Kumain <laughs> ka na ba, babe? Mm-hmm. Sana all. <laughs> like, ganun. Kumain ka na ba, babe? Tinanong ko na kasi wala nagtatanong. <laughs> so, that's informal. Okay? When you actually throw jokes incessantly, yung parang mm-hmm. joke dito, joke doon. Okay? Masaya lang. Okay? Moving Kaya on. nag-post ng picture yung friend mo, best friend. Gusto comment ka. Ganda ka, te. <laughs> okay. Ganda ka pa sa akin. Okay. Moving on. We got direct. Okay? So, when we say direct, it's face-to-face. Direct ka. Direct ka kayo nag-uusap. Communication takes right at the moment in a particular place. Ibig sabihin, parehas ng time at parehas ng place kung nasaan kayo. Okay? Hindi ibig sabihin pag sinabing face-to-face, ano yun ba? Magkadikit yung mukha. <laughs> Kaganda. Hindi, okay? You have to just face each other, okay? Huwag mo siya lang madikit. Facing each other. Huwag mo siya lang madikit, baka may magselos. Okay, move. <laughs> moving on. Oh, moving on. Move on na tayo. Moving on. Next. Next is we have indirect. So, it's uh, about writing letters, te- uh, texting, messaging, or chatting. So, meaning to say, may ginagamit kayo yung medium or tool para send yung nais yung sabihin. Like, say, for example, you're using a um, telephone. Like, um, talking to someone using a cellular phone or mobile phone or um, mm-hmm. through Messenger, through Instagram, Twitter, and so on and so forth. You may not be in the same place at the same time. Time. Sure. Okay, moving on. But okay. uh, when you are using indirect, um, indirect, one 
pwedeng magkaroon ng delay sa reply. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like the what's uh, what you call this one? What's the model? Interactional. Interactional. Okay, so moving on. Let's have um, the types of interpersonal communication according to numbers. Number so of people. We have. have yes. We have the dyadic from the word itself, dyad, right? Means two. So two people sharing mutual ideas thoughts, and etc. So, lasting communication of ideas for a long duration of time. So, meaning to say, um, you are talking to someone. It could be your best friend. It could be anyone. As long as dalawa lang kayo. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, yes. That is dyad. Or dyad. dyad. Usually, it's very uh, long kasi nga, ang dami yung pinag-uusap. Especially kapag heart-to-heart talk. <laughs> okay, moving on. Number two, small group. So, yeah, when we say small group, of course, it shouldn't be a dyad. It should be more than two. Okay, it involves three or more persons up until 12 members or 12 persons in total. Okay, it is face-to-face. You have to face each other while talking to each other. Then there are more people involved, therefore, the communication process will be more difficult. Bakit? Bakit sir dyan lang? Say, for example, kasi um, may gustong sabihin yung isa, there are a lot, uh, mas maraming information, mas hindi kayo magkakaintindihan, especially kapag sabay-sabay nagsasalita. Right? So, mas okay, complex yung, confer- uh, yung communication, nagiging complex. Tama. If everyone wants to say something, it would be hard to take turns. Okay? Sino na ba mag sa lita? Kaya sa small groups natin, minsan may mga moderator. Right? Para maiwasan yung gano'n. Kasi kung hindi, magiging parang ano yan? Chaotic. True. <laughs> okay, moving on. That That is it. Is that it? Tama ba ako? Ay, de. No. Mm. We got the examples para for small groups. So we have panel discussion, we have lecture, forum, symposium, debate, and round table. Actually, okay. yung, uh, what do you call this? Debate, as long as mas, uh, maraming grupo, hindi yung debate lang na dalawa kayo. Sure. Like yung talumpati. Hindi yun. So we're, ju- we're not going to uh, discuss these anymore or be specific in discussing these anymore because we think, okay, you do not need it anymore, okay? So, kasi need natin essential lang, okay? Yung mga basic. Medyo mahirap na kasi to. Should, it will be a complex thing na to understand, lalo na ngayon naka, uh, what do you call this one? Naka-distance learning tayo. Okay? We hope... Are we not gonna discuss the public in mass? Hmm? The, how about the public in mass? Wala ata dito. Hindi to ba? Alam ko meron naman. Eh, kasi nandito ba yun? Hindi, paano na lang natin. Okay. Moving on. Okay. So, Then, your turn. Ah. Alright. Next, um, speech context is public communication. So, when we say public con- uh, communication it is um it uh, what you call this it includes wide range or um, a lot of, of people you're talking to a lot of audience sure. right that's why kapag nagsasalita ka in public marami nakikinig sa iyo see for example yung um, promotional demonstration in a uh, in a mall Diba may mga nagtitinda sa mall na mga promodizer tapos pinapaano nila, right? So, marami yung nakikinig. Marami sa... Uh, another example is a, a politician. Say, for example, yung campaign nila, right? Yes. So, it's um, one people talking to a public, right? And mas magiging... Uh, magiging... <laughs> magiging mabilis yung response kapag public communication. So, pag sinabi kong 
Di, for example, yung sa showtime, what's up, what lang people? Sagot din yung iba, right? Yung sa, sa team. Right. Mas madaling yung sa process. Audience. Audience. Mm-hmm. Ay, then, ayun, ang pinaka, baka you might be confused. Um, so, the difference ng small group is, ayun sa small group, 3 to 12 lang siya. So, uh, kaya yung bilangin. But sa public, pwede, uh, mas marami siya. Wide coverage yung public. Hundreds, thousands. Mm-hmm. It includes influence ha, in public uh, public communication. Kasi nga, it is hard to communicate to a wide range of people. Uh, uh, wide uh, this one coverage okay so you have to have that power you have to have that characteristic you have to have that um artista factor para makatch mo yung attention nila okay moving on right. next we have the mass communication from the word itself mass meaning to say Mas marami. Joke na. Mas rin is rin. meaning to say, right, mas marami nga. Ang pwede niyang um, ma-reach. But we're using media. Mm-hmm. Right? We're using media to communicate to a lot of people. Sure. Pwede through radio, pwede through television, or newspaper, something like that. Um, right? If you're going to differentiate public uh, communication to mass communication aside from the presence of media in mass communication as you can see in public communication sometimes the number of people that can join is actually limited especially kung maliit lang yung venue place venue, but right. in mass media or mass communication I mean mas marami siyang naabot libo, million mm-hmm. YouTube, di ba? Right. Sa pa lang. Pwede pa siyang uh sa ibang bansa, right? Kumbaga, uh, what you call this one? Sa isang place ka lang nag-shoot, pero marami yung nakabot. So that is the power of mass media. You have to exactly. be carefully use it. Dagdag lang. <laughs> so that, I think that is it. Hashtag think before you click. Correct. Like before you click, <laughs> not once, twice, thrice, but seven times before you click. Right. Yeah. Actually, we have an uh, example of media na, or types. We have the print and Ito, electronic, yeah. right? So, re- okay, the classifications. <laughs> so, print, meaning to say, nakasulat siya. I mean, nakaprinted siya sa papel, right? Um, example niya, yung mga newspapers, magazines, right? Periodicals. And if it is electronic, of course, it uses electricity. Mm-hmm. Right? So, yun yung mga tools na like radio, television, television radio, your mobile phone, computer. <laughs> so, if you're going to compare that to sino ba yung mas mabilis, okay, mag-disseminate ang information, it would be electronic media. So, mm-hmm. okay, right. yung printed media, it should be uh, delivered Personally, eh, by people. Unlike sa electronic mm-hmm. media, if you, if you already have the device, you can only right. need, you only need to click okay, the on button. And that's it. Right. Sure. So, very powerful. See, for example, malayo. Mm-hmm. Right? Yung sulat nga before, some buwan bago makarating kung malayo. Huh. So, yung, uh, kaya sobra-sobrang halaga ng electronic media, but it is also very dangerous. Okay? So you have to use it responsibly. Parang pag inom lang yan, okay? <laughs> use media What's responsibly. Ah, uh, talagang yun ang ginamit mo, ma'am. Charos. Okay, so that is it. I think we're done. Am I right? Okay. Yeah. I think we're done. We're not done in life, but we're done <laughs> with this discussion. So, thank you for listening to us. Thank you for un- uh, trying to understand what we are trying to say. So, yes, Sir Janda. If you still have questions regarding sa aming discussion, you may uh, email or message us through via our messenger or Facebook account. So, if you do not, if you are not our, uh, what they call this, if you are not one of our 
students, you can just comment down below your questions and we will gladly answer those. Okay, so see you next time. See you on the next video. We hope you've learned something today. Bye-bye for now. Bye.